should you take maths in class 11th? Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those who are new to my channel, my name is Ishta aka The Standing Medico. And in this video, I'm going to discuss whether you should or should not take maths in class 11th if you're preparing for NEET. So before we start this video, I have a few announcements to make. Since NEET results are out, Unacademy Special Price Week is back. Get huge discounts upon enrollment. As you can see, you can enroll in NEET UG Iconic or NEET UG Plus. Use the code the Stunning Medico to unlock offer valid from 10th November to 17th November. Subscribe now. Another great news is Unacademy Revive for NEET. 2022 aspirants crack this exam and get a chance to win exciting scholarships and prizes rank 1 to 3 get ipad and rank 4 to 10 get amazon vouchers and top 100 ranks get 100 percent scholarships and mentorship from top educators practice for neat ug 2022 by getting mentorship from top educators covering full syllabus of neat getting all india rank and getting a detailed assessment report of every test to be held on 14th november 2 pm onwards use the code the studying medico to enroll for free also, Unacademy is launching Super Achievers Batch 3 and Dream Team 2 from 10th November onwards, where you get the opportunity to learn from the finest of Unacademy. And last but not the least, Unacademy Combat, a free scholarship test held every Sunday, 11 a.m. onwards. Attempt 28 questions in 45 minutes and get a chance to win scholarship from a pool of rupees 4 crore plus. So guys, use the code the studying medico enroll now. All the links that I've talked about are in the description box below. Make sure you go and check them out. So now let's get back to our original video. So should you take maths in class 11th or not? People think that if you're preparing for need, you don't need maths and that maths is an unnecessary drama or a burden. Some people think that it uh, acts as a distraction or like acts as a burden and it hampers your preparation while some think that uh, it actually improves your physics and it helps in your preparation. So what is the case? Let's discuss it all. So let me first tell you my story. I had taken maths in class 11 and um, I had taken maths in class 11 and it was one of my favorite subjects. Uh, you know but i always knew that i wanted to become a doctor so it was not like i had taken up maths because i was confused about what to do so one day i had gone to my friend's place uh, after class 10th board uh, exams were over so it was like all party mode and uh, so one of my friend's uh, mom asked me what stream i had taken since everybody knows that stream is taken uh, or stream is decided on the basis of pre-board results so she asked me what stream i had taken and i said i had taken science so obviously her first question was uh med or non-med <laughs> but uh so i said um i have taken both my subjects are pcbm or physics chemistry bio and maths i have taken it all so then she asked me Ki, um are you confused and i said uh, no so she said Ki, but you always said and you always talked about uh, that you wanted to become a doctor and i said yes i want to become a doctor i want to become a doctor so then she asked me okay then why did you take maths so i said um, i took maths because i like maths and um, i felt that it was too soon to bid goodbye to you know a subject like maths and for me because i really liked maths so then um she kind of like uh, repeated the same question in a spaced out manner uh, thinking that maybe i couldn't understand her question so she said okay beta but why did you take maths if you want to become a doctor so i again repeated the same because i like maths and then she said Ki, but it's not going to help you in any way and then she asked if i was planning to do engineering as well so i said well i will attempt jee because like i have taken a maths so but it's not because like i want to give jee that's why i've taken maths it was like i have taken a maths that's why i'm giving jee and then kind of like uh, she got a little annoyed um she went all like e well you are taking up unnecessary subjects if you're so clear uh, like if you want to become a doctor then don't take maths it's just a waste of your time and parents
some money. And I all went poker face on her. I was like, I am not taking advice from people who think UNESCO has declared Janagana Mana as the best national anthem in the world. So anyway, back to the question, should you or should you not take maths? What is the case? So the only reason to take maths is if you like the subject of mathematics. So ask yourself these questions. Do you like the subject? Do you find it interesting? Do you find it to be your go-to subjects or a subject that kind of excites you? And don't take your uh, grades of your previous examinations as a criteria to measure about what to do. I mean, yes, it uh, gives you a little perspective, but it is not necessary that it has to be the sole criteria for uh, choosing a subject. Like you don't have to be a straight A uh, student in mathematics to choose or like that subject. Maybe you like that subject a lot, but you know, you're not able to score that well. And that's a very frequent issue. In that case, just working harder and working smarter will solve your issue. So if you like the subject, take it. Take maths if it excites you, if you like the subject, because doing something which you don't want to do, that is a real burden. So don't let anyone tell you that, uh, you know, taking maths or not taking maths will have any effect uh, uh, in your uh, need preparation. I mean, uncle aunties will be blah, 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 blah. But ultimately, this decision should come from you and nobody else. Now, uh, just for the sake of clarity, yes, maths is not needed for need. But yes, maths does help in uh, some aspects uh, of physics for need preparation. But taking a whole new subject of mathematics just to improve some itsy bitsy pieces of another subject like physics is going to be a whole burden on you. So be very, very careful. Take maths only if you want to take maths because you like maths, okay? And you love maths and not because you want to improve your physics because ultimately then it will be a huge burden on nobody else but you. So after all this, uh, if you're someone who has not taken up maths, uh, but you are seeing that your physics preparation is hurting, um, here are some chapters from mathematics which you can go through to improve your concepts in physics. First most important chapter, trigonometric functions, most importantly graphs. Second chapter is permutation and combination, just the very, very, very basics. Nothing too deep at all. Matlab, I mean, among mathematics, if something is to be used in physics, this has the least priority, I believe. Third is conic sections. Again, just the graphs of uh, hyperbola, parabola, and stuff like that. These chapters will greatly improve your physics concepts um, and it will help you gain more confidence as well. So I will make a more detailed video on why these chapters um, are helpful. So overall, I have had friends who had not taken up mathematics and still cleared NEET and friends uh, who had taken a math and cleared NEET. So, you know, overall, take maths only if you really, really, really love the subject and work smarter and harder and nothing can stop you from achieving your goals. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also don't forget to share this video with those who might need it. I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye.